So every year, Joe and I like to personalize the finalists. You guys know how awesome they are by their numbers and all the highlight reels have been out there, but we try to do a little different things and try to bring out some of their personalities off the field. So this year, Joe had the great idea of trying to figure out what their talents may be. Some are hidden, some maybe you all know, but um, we dug, dug a little deep for these. So up first is our first finalist is Aaron Koykendall from Northwestern University. And Aaron is... <laughs> It's come to my attention that you are an animal whisperer, that you have caught possums and baby mice with your bare hands, rescued baby geese, um, all sorts of things. So I want to know what's your favorite wild animal pet and why. Um, over the summer, I rescued eight baby possums, and they were really, really cute, so that's probably my favorite one, yeah. <laughs> Watching you play on the field, you're kind of like Caesar Milan. You basically make the defenses do whatever you want out there. So um, let's take a look at her highlight reel. The vocal leader of the top-ranked Northwestern offense and a unanimous first-team All-Big Ten attacker, senior Aaron Koykendall ranked third nationally with 108 points and top 10 with 4.91 points per game while shooting an efficient 53%. An IWLCA All-American, NCAA All-Tournament Team, and Big Ten All-Tournament Team member from Spencerport, New York, Koykendall helped the Wildcats to the Big Ten regular season and tournament titles, a 21-game winning streak, and the NCAA Championship. Congratulations, Aaron. <laughs> Next stop is finalist Jen Medjid from Boston College. Do, do all your fans know that you are a big art fan, that you took AP art in high school and told me that you were... <laughs> you might have loved some of the art you shared in the exhi exhibition in high school, but what kind of art do you like to practice and what do you look forward to do when you hopefully get a little free time this summer? Yeah, I like drawing. I like drawing sports pictures. I haven't had much time for it recently, but I'm hoping to pick it up back up again soon. Well, Jen, when you watch her play, her finishing ability in the side of the 8 meter, you can see her creativity. Um, you basically finish in a million different ways and always make it look pretty. So, let's take a look. First team, All-ACC attacker Jen Medjik led the ACC and was top four in the nation with 83 goals and 107 points. Headlining the electric Boston College offense as the Eagles advance to the NCAA title game. The Garden City, New York native was named to the conference and NCAA All-Tournament teams as BC captured the program's first ACC Tournament Championship. Medjid is a three-time IWLCA All-American and BC's second all-time points and goals scorer. Congratulations, Jen. Next, please welcome finalist Isabella Peterson, James Madison University. Isabella, you share with me that you like to, um, or you can, ride a bike with no hands, and you like to do this when you're down at the beach. How did this skill come about, and what's it useful for? Yeah, so uh, when I was younger, my dad used to take me out to the cul-de-sac in our neighborhood, and we would practice riding bikes, and then I got to do it with no hands, so pretty cool. Hopefully you're, like, having a coffee or right, well, eating a bagel or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, when you watch Isabella play, she play, she's got a commanding presence, and basically you steer the offense, so it's been fun watching you play. Let's take a look. AAC Attack Player of the Year, Isabella Peterson, ranked second in the nation with a program record 91 goals and 114 points. Helping James Madison to a school best 17 consecutive wins and the NCAA quarterfinals. The redshirt junior from Sparks, Maryland, placed second in the nation in points per game and third in goals per game, while securing 90 draw controls. A two-time IWLCA All-American. Peterson holds the Duke's career records for goals and points. Congratulations, Isabella. Next up is finalist Izzy Skane, Northwestern University. So Izzy shared with me she can solve a Rubik's Cube in under 90 seconds. Um, <laughs> which is baffling, but um, I'm sure some audience members would like to know how you learned this, and are there any tips and tricks we should know? Um, the only tip I have is to go to a school that's really far from where you live, so then you can sit in the car and fidget with a Rubik's Cube in your free time. Um, but yeah, very simple. I really wanted to bring one here, but <laughs> I didn't want to, you don't even need some extra pressure. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, you're, that's baffling to me, the skill, but if you watch Izzy play, it's also baffling. It looks like you're trying to solve a puzzle with the defense, and then we're left all thinking, like, how did she do that? So, not surprising. Let's take a look at her highlights. Two-time Tawaritan finalist, Big Ten Attacker of the Year, and Big Ten Tournament MVP, Izzy Skane, ignited Northwestern's top-ranked offense, leading the nation with 99 goals, 134 points, and per-game marks in both categories. A graduate senior and two-time IWLCA All-American from Clarkston, Michigan, Skane earned NCAA Tournament Most Outstanding Player Honors as the Wildcats claimed their eighth NCAA championship, following Big Ten regular season and tournament titles. Congratulations, Izzy. And finally, please welcome finalist Megan Tyrell. Step up with me from Syracuse University. So, Megan, you were a little modest when we were trying to dig out your hidden talent, but I had to go to her coaching staff and some of your fellow players, and each one of them individually said how brilliant she was, that you were the smartest player on the field, in the classroom, close to a 4.0 GPA, and they just couldn't get over your, your smart. So what has been your favorite class that you've taken over your career at Syracuse? I would say in my undergrad, I took a lot of history classes, like ancient Greece or European history or American history, so probably that. Very impressive. And if you watch Megan play on the field, you'll see her smarts on display, whether it's making the right pass or going to cage, you always need to know what to do what's right. So congratulations on your season. Let's take a look at her highlights. Returning to Wharton finalist and ACC Attacker of the Year, Megan Tyrell, piloted Syracuse's third-ranked offense to a share of the ACC regular season title and the NCAA Final Four. The graduate senior from Mount Sinai, New York, was named an IWLCA All-American for the third time, ranking third nationally with 107 points and 5.1 points per game, while also being top 10 in assists per game. The Orange's all-time leading scorer, Tyrell is sixth in NCAA D1 career points. Congratulations, Megan. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the female finalist for the 2023 Tawaratan Award. Now, now, please welcome Kathleen Geiger and Jeffrey Harvey back to the stage to help with the award presentation. Players, are you ready? Kathleen, please announce the winner. The winner of the 2023 Tawaratan Award is Izzy Skein from Northwestern University. don't know Izzy was sidelined with an ACL injury last year and has come back bigger better and stronger um, your performance has been amazing congratulations um, MVP of the national tournament winning the national championship bring it back to Northwestern what does this award mean now capping it off with the Tuarton win it's amazing I mean I, I just love my team they're like the best people in the world and this is this is a team award more than it is an individual one and I can't thank everyone who's loved and supported me enough for everything over the years it's been amazing Congratulations. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.